One of the greatest professional boxers who ever lived made the admission to being absolutely terrified before every fight. This legend was well known for his ability to almost guarantee a knockout in every bout. With a record of 50 wins, 44 of them by way of knockout, and only 6 losses, this man was as dangerous as they come. So why did he feel such fear before a fight? While I'm in the dressing room, five minutes before I come out, my gloves are laced up. I'm breaking my gloves down. I'm, bro I'm pushing the lever at the back of my gloves. I'm gloves. breaking the middle of the gloves for my knuckle to pierce through the leg. I feel my knuckle piercing against the tight leather gloves on the Everlast boxing glove. When I come out, I have supreme confidence, but I'm scared to death. I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated, but I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. All during my training, I've been afraid of this man. I thought this man might be capable of beating me. I've dreamed of him beating me, but, that, but I always stayed afraid of him. But the closer I get to the ring, I'm more confident. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one could beat me. No one could beat me. No one could beat me. The one and only Iron Mike Tyson. He was the most feared heavyweight boxer in his time. The fear he instilled in others was a product of the fear he had within himself. In several interviews, Mike has been known to call himself scared. Even his own therapist, Shano, said, You're a scared little boy sometimes. Nobody but Tyson's own therapist can get away with saying something like that about this man. You have to go. But he understands Mike's fear is what catapulted him to great success. In context, the comment made by his therapist and longtime friend was in response to Mike asking him to tell his audience who he really is. However, the fact remains, one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time was on the opposite spectrum of fearless. He was afraid. But did you ever know that about him? Did you ever see it in his eyes when he would stare down his opponents seconds before he would nearly take their heads off? Probably not. There's a large misconception that we as men should be fearless. Unless there's something wrong with your amygdala, you'll encounter this feeling thousands of times before you expire. But why should we want to be fearless? To answer this question, I'm going to compare apples to apples. Consider your pain receptors. Congenital insensitivity to pain and anhydrosis. This is a condition which prevents its host from feeling pain. If a person with SEPA were to break his ankle during a basketball game, he wouldn't know it. I have no idea. Running up and down the court, he would continue to unknowingly sever his ankle further. Think about any other instance where your brain, using pain as an indicator, would inform your body to tap out or proceed with caution. It's extremely dangerous, and despite how you may feel about it, this inability to feel pain is not to be coveted. Agreed. Physical pain is an indicator that something is wrong with the body and fear is a similar indicator, however, it's psychological. When you feel fear, you have the standard three options by which to act on. Fight, flight, or freeze. Now I want to touch on the act of fighting through the fear because we did start this video off talking about Tyson after all. Tyson felt the fear coursing through his veins every time he fought, but he powered through to secure the win. There's the fear that left him worried about what he would do to his opponent, and then there's the other more relatable fear that worried him about what his opponent would do to him. That fear of being mauled by his opponent across the ring was the kickstart for survival mode. Obviously, if you were in the business of throwing haymakers, you're well trained enough to survive gracefully. In the case of Iron Mike, it's silly to think his opponents would have him worried about surviving in the first place, but I digress. Fear is a double-edged sword. It can cut you down, and it can cut others down also. Either way, it is a sword we all wield. Does the Navy SEAL or Army Ranger feel fear as they are waiting to be called on to perform and operate in austere locations against an unknown enemy in unforeseeable events? Yes, they do. The fear they feel is natural, it's unavoidable. But with proper training, that fear is then honed into a beautiful skill set that instills upon the enemy an even greater fear. We go into battles throughout life knowing that we may lose. And it's this reality that causes us to perform at our peak. Most people have a purpose, whether it's their family, their career, or their mission in life. Whatever it is, the fear of letting yourself down by failing to accomplish your purpose in life is powerful enough to drive a man beyond his abilities to fight tooth and nail to succeed. With preparation and determination, the fearful have an even better chance at survival than the one who claims to be fearless. Men who claim to be fearless are simply masking their fear with misplaced confidence and tend to underestimate the challenges that lie ahead which is a recipe for failure. All this to say, 
Fear was Mike Tyson's best friend in his professional career and it allowed him to understand much about who he was. His speeches on fear are charged with emotion and reminds us that even a killer in the ring is still just as human as we are. We can take lessons from people like Tyson who have learned to live with their fear harmoniously in a way that puts them above all the competition. As for those of us who aren't aiming for the championship belt, we can remember that fear is what keeps most of us from ever taking the first step towards success. Take no chances in missing opportunity. Imagine fear as a big opaque wall. You don't know what's on the other side unless you get over it. So I urge you not to aim for fearlessness, but become acquainted with fear on an intimate level and you'll see what you're truly capable of. Until next time.